with this main machine. I was just filming. I, I thought I was filming the whole time because I kept filming it for somebody to stop the video three seconds in. Frick you for photos. That is so horrible. Use car number six. That may not be as detailed as last week. I spent like 15 minutes recording the last week. I'm so upset. I did not do some frickin' WD-40. I would not trust it. And well, elevator number three is out of service. Weird little walkway over to the glass ones. These ones are the glass inside ones. This one's on floor 25. These controllers into the hotel. I guess you know which one I'm in. Things are 800 feet high. Elberon. Floor 12. That one is out of service. This one used to squeal a lot, so I think they're trying to repair it. Here's 8. 8 has an issue, which makes it very noisy. Other ones are way quieter. There's the diverting sheet. Those are the main contactors. Those are new contactors, though. Made by General Electric. Elvis goes to a floor right near the machine room floor, like for example, like right near the top, like 25. You can hear the elevator talking. Nicola, look, floor 25. It's going down. Blah 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 blah. Nobody cares. Grease. How much grease did I put on these things? These machines need an upgrade. They rip. These elevators are awesome, but they're in need of a mod. Like, just listen to the safety governor. That doesn't tell you that these things are in need of a mod pretty soon. Like, the elevators run okay. They rattle a little. But look, here's some of the old contactors. Those things switch the motor on and off. Yeah. Elevator 8's back at it, making its racket and intriguing me to walk over to it so you so I can hear it racket louder. Save the gummer. Coming from in there somewhere. I think it's the bearings. Because my old washer had bad bearings and it sounded very similar to this. My aunt said it sounded like a jet airplane taking off. It was so loud. And this thing is kind of similar. Get right by there. Six elders in this machine. Here's the glasses. Elver ate some treat me. That's how we got in here. Up for that door. Lots of oil. See? Been doing a terrible job with it. I can see some oil seeping out, but they should put in more oil for this one. At least to try and like make it a bit less loud. Who knows what it sounds like without oil? Well, they took off these dumb uh, rope covers. Good, these are for safety, but they're kind of annoying. 
air conditioner is obviously on right now and it feels so good to have it blowing on my hair. Yes. Career elevator. I just got like a start. No, that's some person's loud car. Even if I'm 29 floors or something up in a building, people's loud cars can still be heard. That's how loud your car is, David. Your name is David and you don't have a loud car, sorry. I just realized the lights are weird. Look, it's a freaking light for the machines. It's none above. And they're like, nah, we're not putting it above. We're just putting it on the wall. So you just have the light break. I think that was the brake. This brake has been squealy the whole time I'm in here. Never it brakes really squealy for this one. It's the brake. Lobby. Yep. Lobby. Heard a fan turn off. Oh. Over eight just loves being really busy. Now over here's the car supervisor. So what the car supervisor does, so example for example, if you push in the, the button on 28, elevator one is on floor lobby, elevator two is on 15, elevator three is on floor 20. Which elevator is the closest to 28? Elevator 3, because it's on floor 20. So this thing's job is to realize, oh, elevator 3 is the closest. I'll send that one to that floor so that it won't be too long. That's what this thing does. That's pretty, that was a very basic uh, listening of how it works. It's very complex. Is that Comic Sans? Oh, Hugh, it isn't. Looks very similar. So I saw in a video from a YouTuber of them up in a machine room, and the software on the computer was in Comic Sans. Yeah, Comic Sans. These are serious rooms. You could get killed in here if you don't know what you're doing. I obviously know what I'm doing. I've been in over a hundred machine rooms. Blah blah blah. Like this is the motor frame. I can touch it without getting electrocuted. That's the com. That's the communicator. I can, if I touch that, I die because that's energized. See, right now it's that one's energized. This one isn't energized right now, but I'm still not gonna touch it because what if it turns on while I'm touching it? I'll just my finger will catch on fire, start smoking, I'll fall to the ground. And that'll be a bad day. Simple. It's a lot of. Sorry for my finger being away. Fingers a bit tight. Yeah. Monitor? Wait, I'm gonna see. Are you able to load up the software for these? There you are. There you are. Let's send one. Look, so what I'm doing, come on over here, look. So what I'm doing right now is I'm entering car. So let's uh, do front car, enter for front car call and select our floor. See, that's selecting the floor. So let's send one down the lobby. Enter, there you go. Pretty cool, right? And then F4 is to the main menu. See? See everything, view hoist. So F3 is the view hoist way. everything in here. Very cool system, isn't it? 
See, this is for car five. You can see it's going down right now. So I entered in a call for it on lobby. So now it's going down the lobby. It's going 786 feet per inch. Right at 800, a little bit. These motors are rated for 800 feet per inch. See, slowing down. Um, that's loud. Of course, it's elevator eight. That thing is always the loudest one. Be able to switch on which car. Pretty darn cool. Four main hoist right. See everything. Local car five. 